Colonization on the horizon, children. Welcome back to another session of this... <laughs> we'll just call it a game. And won't add any adjectives uh, before that word. Uh, I know I just uh, recorded a session of this yesterday and uploaded it. Didn't give everybody in the world a chance to watch, but I'm just really in the mood to play this game today. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Last time I got incredibly lucky. Um, just with how uh, the random numbers are generated and everything, and my results were that I I crushed a bunch of military while sustaining very few losses on my own. I'm hoping to continue that trend this episode. I'm going to try and pry uh, these goddamn Dutch away from my cities, because they are very numerous, and uh, their military power is high. I like them to harass Roanoke as opposed to me. Uh, another two fake today, folks. We'll see how that impacts my speech. But yeah, I want to get this stash of uh, people over here to SKS. These trained uh, workers. So in order to do that, I am going to have to do my best to pry these motherfuckers away from the city. So let's give that a try. Yay! Awesome! You know, since that, that clearly worked out so well. I lost horses there. That means that I can do this right. It'll succeed. Yep! <laughs> Isn't that wonderful, everybody? I love how that works sometimes. Which means I should be able to attack with that. And yep, that'll work fine, too. Why don't I try these things sooner, everybody? Why do I waste my precious, beautiful horses? No. Well, dick. Well, since we're here. Yay! <laughs> I guess I'm going to retreat this pioneer or at least move him over here. And uh start moving these colonists over so that they can get into SKS next turn, which will be fantastic. Magnifico! Fantastico! So I sustained a few losses there. A few losses, but I think I'll get over it, everybody. Uh, I had one artillery unit that was damaged, destroyed, but I'm continuing to do reasonably well, and I'm collecting a lot of colonists in the process. That's always a good thing, right? Oh, dear! Oh, no! That could have been dangerous, everybody. Kind of like this guy. Well, since my privateer is kind of stuck there, and you have cargo, I guess I'll take that. Horses, muskets, sunk the English privateer. <laughs> oh, that's, that is wonderful, kid. Wonderful, kids. Absolutely beautiful. Hmm. We have enough free colonists to make this place work. Uh, you go over there, and you get to work on crosses, buddy, and you grab those cigars. Are we coming along? Slowly. Got it. You sit there. Uh, I guess you, um, get to work producing liberty bells. So I can, uh, summon Simon Bolivar over here quicker. Be very useful. Aha, I got you to retreat, na 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 na. I need to get him into Quebec to deliver those tools and muskets. Hopefully he won't get attacked. Um, I mean, if you want to dance right next to my fort and get damaged, that's cool. What do I know? <laughs> Alrighty, learn how to be a lumberjack. Excellent. Uh, no, you continue to remain a lumberjack. I'm just going to drag you over here. You get on over there. By that, I actually mean you should probably... I have two lumberjacks now for this place. That's great. Which means wonderful things, everybody. You can get over there for the time being, so I can reassign you to there. A lot of lumber per turn, kids. A lot of lumber. I approve wholeheartedly of that. 
However, I don't exactly need all that lumber per turn. So I'm going to go ahead and send out uh, one of these guys as another specialist. To just be out there playing around with masses. And I'll train another one to uh, sit in here and keep me company. That uh, means that you over there go back to chopping lumber and preserving that. How many free colonists do I have here? A lot. Lots of people to train. See, I have a college right now. Uh, somebody uh, suggested to uh, start training elder statesmen that requires a university. I'll get on that eventually. But I'm in no pressure to do that right now. No changes. Right, okay. That'll be fine. You continue to hold those guns, man. You're doing a wonderful job. Oh, I guess you don't need to. I, I forgot that we had a good enough warehouse expansion here. That's completely irrelevant and moot. Oops. Well, fuck it. Nah. Uh, let's see here. Uh, should be safe for you to squirrel on out of there. And your job is to head back home. Yep, that'll be fine. I could start making crazy attacks right now. That'd be pretty fun, right, everybody? Let's see here. Your movement should actually carry you to help me assault that Dutch colonist. So, uh, let's see if we can do that. Ah, oh. That was unfortuitous, everybody. Because you know that happened. Of course, that's gonna work. Fine, if you're gonna take my dragoons from me, I'll start pulling out crazy attack shit like this and capturing those guys. I lost 50 horses, but that was still a success, right, everybody? Um, really need to work on uh, building a new colony here. Uh, I have way too many colonists now. It's kind of crazy. You uh, get to work on building a road. Roads! Okay. Get in there. Lots of people here. Okay. Blacksmith will get to work making tools. Uh, yeah. That'll be fine for now. For the time being, you can roll tobacco. And so can you. Allow me time to think about this. How did that change? It just made my food display look funny for some reason. I don't know. Uh, you do that for the time being. Oh dear. That, that's too much. That's too much. Too many people here. Too many people. Kick you out as a... Send you out as a scout to have a chat with the Indians. And I will... Uh, send you out with muskets. Let's see here. Well, that probably means that... Screw having a chat with the Indians. I'll make you a dragoon. I don't feel like talking to them guys anyway. I have way too many free colonists there. Not enough specialists. Gotta get those guys trained to do something. Elder Statesman here would really be valuable in boosting that up to make that all better and everything. Good, you're a farmer. I needed the food there. And now uh, let's get that Master Carpenter in here. I should be able to squeeze him in here just fine. Though I've been known to be wrong. You know. Negative. Negatory. Alrighty. Uh, I'll kick one of you guys out then to go and get trained some more. So, out you go. I can give you tools as well. But I'm going to need some of those tools, so I'll just make you a colonist and send you back to Montreal. Maybe I'll have you build the new colony somewhere. Uh, hmm. Don't exactly have enough excess lumber for you to be that valuable here, though. That's pretty unfortunate, but hopefully, eventually, possibly, that will change. Especially when... I guess I'll take this guy off of Liberty Bells. Have him chop enough lumber to make that worthwhile. I certainly don't get enough ore. But I will cross that bridge when we come to it. Okay, everybody? Okay. 
Uh, anything I want to transfer here? I can actually take lumber up to... Yeah. I could take lumber to SKS. Completely uh, dissolving my need to have you do that. You get back to work producing Liberty Bells, buddy. And you head on to SKS. He deserves to be resupplied, right, everybody? Absolutely. Uh, hmm. By the way, I've noticed and thought now, uh, with the passage of time, that uh, you can always ask the foreign powers you're talking to to do stuff like uh, get off your land. I wasn't really paying much attention, so I could have been asking uh, the Dutch and English that all this time. Who knows how successful it would have been, but I still could have been doing that. Hmm. Alrighty, artillery units fine to be producing there. Uh, producing tools. No exit. You're having a small excess of lumber. Okay. That'll be fine for the time being. I think. Uh, let's think about where I want to lay this new colony. I want it in a place where I'll get more supplies. Now that has me next to cotton, has me next to two forests, I'm not next to any Indians, and I've got ore right there. I think that's actually a good spot. My only worry is that, you know, it's relatively exposed to my enemy down there. Mountains. Mountains. I don't much care about the, the, the cotton, but, you know, it could be handy to acquire. It could be, it could be. Now, I do need to get a uh, pioneer there, over there. And, um, tell you what. Who has the uh, most tools to spare? And who wouldn't I mind losing uh, somebody from? I guess I'll take you along, and I guess I'll just have to wait and build up those tools over the passage of time. Uh, go ahead and take along 60 tools. That'll be a while, but uh, with lots of prayer, maybe we'll be able to do it. Need to get an expert ore miner over there. I mean, right, I wanted to train another one of those, but I didn't feel like I had it to spare right now. <laughs> Such is life. Also... You need to get off that. Liberty Bells matter more. Now you... I guess, can uh, make your way back down? To help defend some shit, yo. And stuff. These turns are going pretty slow. That is... Unfortuitous, but uh, I'm managing quite fine. Look at all those galleons out there. They could be great targets for me. Some one day. New cargo of tools? Fantastic. Especially whenever I do that. Sweet! 210 horses now, everybody. 210 horses. Lots of horses there. Uh that'll be fine. That fortress will be finished next turn, much to my glee. Go on and head on into Montreal. Now you down here need to go on and keep pursuing the offensive. So attack this galleon. No guarantees here, children. No guarantees, but uh, I think I managed all the same. I'll take the horses, and I will take the fur. I don't know, sugar's pretty rare, but the fur I can make into coats up there, and sugar I can use to make rum. Rum's more valuable. So, I'll take that. I think rum's more valuable right now. Sick of gander. Yep. Sure is. Whereas coats, the price of that has gone down. So, yeah, I think I made the right decision. Also, uh, with tax being a quarter and all, I should definitely look into um, trading with the Indians again. I think that's why I wanted to get a seasoned scout out there and everything, but just... Uh, Lost my train of thought. <laughs> you know, just have a chat with the Indians and let, you know, let me know what the word is. It's not bird, everybody. It's not bird. Go on and fortify. Uh, you go ahead and head on 
down to Quebec so I can get you mounted on horseback. You get on in Quebec too. Now, let's modify you and give you horses. Excellent. Uh, you go on and head over to SKS. No, you head on to Montreal for a minute. I'll replace that guy who's there, the free colonist. Speaking of which, that means you can actually get out of there now, then. That'll be fine. Drop that tobacco off here. What do we get? Refined goods. Don't have a lot of those here at the moment. Oh, well. I'll be fine. I hope. Um... I reckon let's go ahead and uh, move these guys on down to uh, fortify where I plan on making this new colony. Three, one, there we go. Uh, I want to plow the square before I uh, before I settle down into it. Now, this could this might actually be a better spot. Let's see if I settle here. I'll have uh, these eight squares, which would be two plains, prime cotton, two mountains, and two forests. If I settle here, I'll have three plains, three forests, and two mountains. So I gain another forest by heading here. Now what do I lose by doing that? Um... I guess I'll lose a smidgen of food. Yeah, I'd lose a smidgen of food. Four planes there. But uh, I, I think I'll manage. That would that would give me access to more resources, allowing to put out more expert ore miners and lumberjacks to continue to fuel my machine. It's closer to SKS and to Montreal, and it's the same distance from Quebec. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And it's a little bit further away from New Holland. So it'll be easier for me to protect. So I actually like moving there more. So I'm going to do that. I think it's a good decision. You again. Really? Do you have no soul? Lol, I move out here and just... I'm sabotaging you. You didn't notice, dude? That's me. I'm sabotaging your base. Your base, it's being sabotaged. Ruffle, 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 ruffle. It's sweet, a new cargo of tools and ore. Wonderful. Uh, that'll be good then. We're building an artillery unit here. Alrighty. Um, probably don't need so much food production. Tell you what. You get on over here and assist with that. I have the food to spare. That'll be good. Colonist has learned how to be a soldier. And we got the fortress built. Excellent. Um, let's go ahead and kick this guy out of the colony then. You are now that. Which means... How many... We have still have free, three rather colonists who do not have a profession. So I can keep that layout the way it is. Next thing we're going to build... I think I want to build a magazine. Which will allow me to make uh, more guns. Worst case, I'll just sell the guns if I have like an excess of them. And make a ridiculous amount of money. If I could sell them to the Indians too, that'd be funny. <laughs> University would allow me to do Elder Statesman. I guess that's cool, but... I have so many spare colonists right now that I don't think that's an issue, although I'd be able to be producing an ordinate number of Liberty Bells. Uh, I guess for that, I'll go ahead and work on the university then, and allow me to put another teacher in there at the very least. So that's valuable. Oh, King has increased his military spending. That is unfortuitous. Go on and head back home to the old country. Oh, shit. Slip past. Oh, dick. 
One, two, three. Oh, sweet. We'll still make it. Phew. Good. Good, 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 good. Good. Alrighty. Uh, I guess I can head back. What do you need? Do you need anything? Not right now, no. Although you will need some tools. We have tools to spare over here? We do. Um, tell you what. You take 60 tools. And you go over to SKS. Yay! I'm actually going to wrap up this video right now. Uh, join me next time, folks, whenever I perhaps deal with that veteran soldier standing on a hill. Settle a new colony, though I'm not quite sure what I want to name it yet, and yeah. Bob's your uncle, everybody. Bob's your uncle.